Hey guys, Tony Corpin, School Transportation News reporting from ACT Expo. I'm here in the BYD booth with Frank Gerardo, Senior Director of Communications. Frank, exciting bus behind you. We also have this, if you guys have opened up your STN issue, it's the Achiever, one of their new and exciting buses that's going to be at STN Expo in Reno. Frank, tell me a little more. What is going on with BYD lately? Some of the exciting things you guys got coming to the market. Hey, th first of all, thanks for having me on on the podcast or the show or whatever this whatever we're doing. <laughs> thanks for doing this video with us. Yeah. So we we came here because this is a premier show for us to come to. It's it, you know because it focuses on advanced clean transportation and we want to prep for being in Reno and Indianapolis. So here we brought the Dreamer, our Type D bus. But as you just showed showed the audience, we're going to have the Achiever at STN. And we hope that we can do it in a ride and drive so people can get a preview of what our Type A looks like. Yeah, guys, so we have the Green Bus Summit. So BYD is our title sponsor in Reno and their platinum sponsor in Indianapolis. So you guys want to try out that brand new Achiever, that is the place to do it, STN Expo Green Bus Summit. We're riding drive there. So Frank, what other things are happening at BYD? What other exciting things are the school bus industry and buyers be considering? You have a different solution than everybody else. You're a fresh manufacturer, looking at it from a new perspective. What does that mean for the end user? So. We're not a fresh manufacturer, fortunately, and that really is good for the end user. You know, we've built thousands of transit buses all over the world and delivered them, and they're operating. Here in the U.S., we've delivered, you know, almost a thousand transit buses, and we're building trucks and other clean vehicles that operate on a BYD battery and the BYD powertrain. So we've taken the knowledge that we have, put it into school buses, and now here's the exciting part, really. You know, school districts are finding that as states implement advanced clean truck, advanced clean fleet rules, and and make money available through pro, for, through projects like or programs like HVIP, uh, which is the California uh, program, or even better, five billion dollars through EPA. Uh, we're finding ways that we can fit the product in as a solution for the for the users in school districts around the United States. And it's really exciting because, you know, these are purpose built, so they'll, they'll fit right into whatever the school district wants to do with them. If they want to put a bunch of kids uh, and go on a vacation or a day trip in a larger bus, we have the Type D. If it's a if it's a more work a day situation, but they have a lot of kids, big district, we'll we'll present our Type C coming up soon. That's I think sneak preview there. Here. That's, you know, we have the Dreamer for D, the Achiever for A, and the Type C will be called the Creator. So, so we're, we're thinking about how kids approach school, you know, Dreamers, Achievers, and, and Creators. So it, that's an exciting thing. And that'll be out on the market next year. And we hope that that will be available also for districts to take advantage of all the different funding opportunities that are there. You know, obviously people look at electric vehicles and they think, well, you know, this is a new thing. It's it's scary. We're used to what we have. We have our mechanics. We have our people working here. Well, you know, this is gonna. This is gonna. We're transitioning. It, it's not. It's gonna be so great for our kids and so great for our school districts as we begin to clean up the air and eliminate things like childhood asthma, uh, sort of respiratory illnesses in neighborhoods that are most affected by diesel and carbon emissions. So we're very excited to be a part of that. We call ourselves the official sponsor of Mother Nature, but we also really say that we want to lower the global temperature by one degree Celsius. And we think that we can achieve that more, more rapidly and more quickly by implementing heavy duty uh, vehicles at scale, whether it be in the school bus industry or in the heavy truck business. And that's why we're at, you know, that's why we're here at this show, uh, is, to, is to show off some of the options that we can do. And that's why we so value you know, being a part of the STN show, the Green Bus Summit, and other events that, you know, are hosted through the, the STN network. We value as a partner, too. We're excited. Brand new news. Can't wait to see the sea. That's going <laughs> to be exciting, Frank. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll probably have some images available uh, later this month. I'd be happy to share them with you and your audience. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.